Magnus hosts a major biomedical imaging facility, which was implemented after international evaluation. It features a molecule-to-man approach and operates a fully translational biomedical research effort from the design of new molecular probes to human imaging of structure, chemistry and function with a focus on the human brain. It is the core structure of the Brain Imaging Network of Portugal, or BIN. BIN started in 2008 and operates a mature imaging infrastructure facility. Our mission includes developing and exploiting new imaging technologies, driving the development of and access to state-of-the-art imaging instrumentation. Our national medical imaging infrastructure involves a large set of modalities, cyclotron, including carbon-11 radiochemistry for molecular imaging, PET, SPECT, 3T magnetic resonance imaging, high-density neurophysiological recordings and transcranial magnetic stimulation. Our activities range across all medical imaging work packaging of neurobioimaging, from translational research using molecular and functioning imaging techniques to basic and clinical research in neuroscience, including clinical trials. The level of complementarity is very high. Our cyclotron enables the production of carbon-11, oxygen-15, nitrogen-13 and fluorine-18 and is expandable to other targets. Our specialised radiochemistry units can synthesise new compounds for molecular imaging in humans and animals using several tracers with a focus on carbon-11. Molecular imaging with PET-based probes of dopamine and GABA neurotransmission that have been related to neurological and psychiatric diseases is a great asset. These studies are combined with magnetic resonance imaging approaches, taking advantage of the research collaboration with Siemens and interactions with centres such as John Hopkins Hospital, the Martino Centre at Harvard Medical School and others. Using magnetic resonance, we already have several clinical trial contracts running, as well as research agreements with the industry. We also have an animal magnetic resonance facility, which is an important component in the roadmap linking molecular and translational imaging approaches with the possibility to run clinical trials. We also run behavioural virtual reality setups coupled with neurophysiological recordings enabling the study of human perception and action in a realistic setting and the development of innovative brain-computer interfaces. <laughs>